Thank you. A lot of teachers are creating lesson plans surrounding the Capitol riot fallout, but one local teacher is actually there. Yeah, he is physically there. He is a National Guardsman deployed to Washington, D.C. Yeah. to keep the city safe. The week-long deployment got extended, but this entire time, he has not stopped teaching. There are lessons you can teach by saying, and there are lessons you can teach by doing. For instance, Darren Tannis, Mr. Tannis to his students, is a math teacher and has been at Forest Hills Eastern for about 12 years. But far away from the realm of square roots and fractions, he's teaching his students something much more important, something about commitment, even if he doesn't see it that way. You know, I don't feel like I'm doing that much, really. I feel like I'm, I'm just trying to do my best to to support them. Um, I don't feel like I'm, I'm working any miracles, you know. Mr. Tannis is a hit with his students, and we know because we asked them this week. He's really personable and can connect with every kid in the room. I like struggle at math, so it's a little more difficult for me. Like I get frustrated easily, but he would always be there to like help me get through it. So that's a little bit difficult, I guess, with him being gone. You probably noticed the army fatigues in Mr. Tannis' Zoom call. In a year that's taken away teachers' abilities to see their students face-to-face -face and only over video calls, Mr. Tannis has had even that robbed of him. Not long after the Capitol riots on January 6th, Mr. Tannis was deployed to Washington, D.C. as one of about a thousand Michigan guardsmen sent to help. This mission that we're on now is one that I, that I believe strongly and I I'm grateful to be down here to serve the D.C. police, to, to serve the people of D.C. And honorable though it is, the eight-hour shifts leave very little time for Mr. Tannis to conduct his lessons. His class has a permanent replacement, but every week, Tannis, from his D.C. hotel room, uploads videos. I believe you can check these in your calculator to some extent, you know, if I do the inverse sign. So his uh, students can still learn from him. What I'm trying to do is just trying to continue that normalcy for kids as much as possible. And it's become an anchor for his students to something normal in abnormal times. And it's a lesson in commitment as much as it is in math. He just like dropped everything, like his like family life, his school, and he loves teaching like a lot too. Yeah, and you can tell, and on one of the very few Zoom calls this year that Mr. Tennis could get on, his students surprised him and held up signs thanking him for what he is doing. He's doing a lot. He told us actually that that uh, gesture moved him to tears. Oh, so we'll talk about commitment to the job. Yeah, and and practicing what you preach yeah. too. When you mm -hmm. when you are a teacher, you have to lead by example. And exactly, he's, he's doing that. Committed.